In today's video, we're going offshore on a rainy day for some mahi. The last time we went out, we got skunked on the mahi, but managed to land an unexpected wahoo to more than make up for it. It's early May, not too hot, and we're just following the boats and the birds. So without further ado, let's get into the video. There we go. This one on the mini rod. Oh yeah. Mine, I think mine's bigger than Ryan. <laughs> oh yeah. These are nice peepers. No, oh, 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 he just oh. missed. There they go. Yeah! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Try and throw. Hold up, hold up. Mine's taking off. Bring him up, bring him up. Hold up. There we go. There we go. He swallowed that one. Swallowed the hook too. No, actually, he didn't swallow it that bad. What about this one right here? Um, let me get a little. All right, Ryan. We hit the school of mahi real quick. We hit. Got a nice little mahi down there. Guys, this is some uh, some sad. Yeah, we gotta check it, measure it out. We just went out here. We're actually delayed because we we're hit by a storm right before we we're gonna head out. So we ended up being delayed. Now, we finally made it out and we saw some birds. The second we dropped our baits in the water, instantly destroyed by a school of mahi. Nice little schoolies. Hopefully we can catch some more. Oh, even more, more coming now. Oh yeah. Oh, diving, diving. Any jumping fish, any jumping fish? Look at this, look how many birds there are. Now it's a frenzy because all, all these birds are freaking coming over. Oh, we're hit, we're hit. Ooh. There you go. Bring them to the boat, bring them to the boat for the schoolies. Nice, yay, yay. There we go, Ryan. There's another one, there's another one. The whole school is here. Do you got one? Yeah, I got this one. Here, leave this one in the water. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. Flip them or net? Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, that's a runner. 
Don't let him run too much, you're gonna run into a rock. Ah, oh, popped off. He was able to eat a paint that big. Come on, come on, come on. It's a big one. I can tell you. And I can tell you, boy, I'm take your asses to school, bro. Take your asses to school, bro. Nice. I'm gonna take you. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Take you to school, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby. Uh, man, oh, is this is this like the biggest one? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> they are killing my valley. That's a keeper yellowtail. Yeah, a keeper yellowtail. Nice. I gotta measure it up, but I'm pretty sure that's a keeper. Oh my God! Look at this keeper mangrove. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 I barely got it on video. Yeah, I didn't really catch much on video. Ooh, baby. That's a keeper, is it? Yeah, that's 12 inches. Sure. Let's measure it up, but I'm pretty sure it's 12. Just a quick recap for the day. Uh, we got out a little bit later than we wanted to because we were trying to fight off a storm, uh, get ahead of it a little bit. So at about 9, 9.30, we're out pretty far. We actually didn't know where we were because our GPS system broke down, so we're pretty much doing this manually. We know we were out by Isla Morada, but we caught uh, four pretty nice-sized mahi. Uh, we caught other ones too, but they were too small, so we had to let them go. Really nice action. We were out there just kind of running and gunning, chasing down birds, and. Uh, there was a ton of action. Junior at one point just put his bait out to troll and almost instantly a dolphin just came out of nowhere and took it. So a pretty good uh, productive hours out there catching mahi and then after a while we came back in, did some patch reef fishing and caught some pretty nice yellowtail and mangrove snapper. I also hooked on to probably what I would think is a mutton snapper or a grouper. Just absolutely peeled line uh, but that one got away. So overall, seven fish in the boat, I think it's a pretty good day. For today's catch and cook, we're first preparing our mahi, which we fillet and skin. The snapper are going to be fried whole, so it's only a matter of descaling, cleaning out the guts, and salting them. To go along with the meal, Jose is cooking up a sauce for the fish. We're using some Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning, Louisiana fish fry lemon dill sauce, and some of Nellie and Joe's Key West lime juice, all mixed into a warm saucepan.
We barbecue the mahi fillets on a moist plank with some liquid smoke to help with the flavoring. Jose likes to keep the fillets moist by dabbing them with some olive oil while cooking. While the mahi fillets are on the barbecue, we deep fry our snappers whole. This is the most straightforward way to cook a nice fish.